Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Peter Schwarzenbauer, member of the BMW Board of Management. Ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome here to MINI. Today, we are celebrating another important moment in MINI's history, the new MINI, the new original. We are thrilled to, be, to do this here in the U.S., MINI's largest market and our second home. Back in 2002, the MINI hardtop burst onto U.S. roadways. Many experts, including myself, said that a small car could not succeed in the U.S. However, people here fell in love with the MINI, and this year we reached a milestone of 500,000 customers in the U.S. MINI has shown that even a small car can embody premium and provide plenty of fun on the road. And Californians love the MINI. Some of its highest market shares worldwide is right here in Los Angeles and San Francisco. Sales for the brand are currently at a record level in the U.S. In the first 10 months, over 55,000 cars were delivered to customers, nearly 2% up on the same period in 2012. We are confident that this year will be the best year ever in the sales for Mini here in the U.S. To keep up with the growing demand, we have nearly doubled the number of dealerships here from 65 to nearly 120 in the last several years. Mini is also gaining popularity in other markets in the Americas. Mexico is one of the fastest growing markets for the brand in the world. One in three BMW Group cars sold in Mexico is a Mini. Brazilians love the Mini. In the first 10 months, we sold around 20% more compared to the same period last year. And in terms of long-term growth, Canada has increased sales 38% over the last three years. Worldwide, MINI reported an all-time sales high for the first 10 months of the year, despite persistent market challenges in Europe. We sold around 250,000 vehicles during this period. We are confident that we will achieve a new all-time high for worldwide sales in 2013. Ladies and gentlemen, we began with the MINI hardtop when we launched the first new MINI under the BMW Group back in 2001. With this car, we created the premium small car segment and began a new success story for MINI. Since then, we have sold over 2.5 million MINIs worldwide. By introducing a new product and opening up a new segment, MINI stays at the leading edge of the premium small car segment nothing can touch the emotional peel of a Mini. The best-selling model worldwide and here in the U.S. is the Mini Hardtop. Ladies and gentlemen, I am very proud to present the North American premiere of the new Mini, the new original. <laughs> I think that uh, our design team, interior and exterior, did an excellent job in improving further this iconic design. And beneath the exterior is a brand new car with state-of-the-art technologies. With revised suspension technology and increased rigidity, we have intensified the famous go-kart feeling that is so unique to this brand. This Mini is the first to offer dynamic temper control. Drivers can choose now between a sporty ride or a more comfortable one simply at the touch of a button. It will be powered by our latest state-of-the-art three- and four-cylinder engine. This incorporates new Mini twin turbo tower technology. When it comes to safety, we have made a major leap forward. With an extended range of driver assistance systems, such as head-up display, collision and pedestrian warning, and rear-view camera, the new Mini offers better protection for drivers 
passengers and pedestrians than ever before. And to ensure every new Mini makes a personal statement, we are offering even more customizable features. In a nutshell, the new Mini hardtop carries on the timeless values of Mini. Driving fun, lifestyle, and premium quality. Our new Mini is generally more grown up, but in its own cheeky way, it will continue to win people's heart. In essence, this Mini is exactly what Mini has always been, an original. I would now like to invite Anders Warming, head of Mini Design, to explain what he and his team have been up to in the last couple of years. Anders, your turn. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for joining me here, talking about the design of the new Mini. The new Mini is, for me personally, not just a car, not just another project. It's really a special moment, I think, in my personal career. But I have to say, I speak probably for everyone who's involved in this project, everyone within the marketing team, design team, and all the engineers that worked on the car. We're really proud of this car. It is, for us, the new original. And the way we've worked around it is, is basically making sure that the character of the design of the Mini that people have fallen in love with over many, many years is being maintained. For me, the true formula of designing this car is by making sure that the heritage, what made Mini successful so far, is equal parts to innovation, new ideas. And I think the way these are integrated has to become basically the basis of the success for this car. When we talk about the design of the car, the first thing you should recognize when you see the car from the front view is, of course, the Mini typical face. Mr. Schwarzenbauer mentioned this cheeky attitude of the car, the way it comes around the corner. The picture behind me, I think, captures that essence. When you look at the form language on the design, you see that we've maintained the soft and, I believe, very, very friendly form language, especially over the landscaping over the bonnet. When you see the bonnet, when you drive the car, it's not just something you see from the outside, but something you also see from the inside, from the driver perspective, when you see these wonderful curves from the driving perspective. Moving further into the front of the car, of course, you recognize the round headlights. You recognize the hexagonal shaped grille. And these are two icons that we've been developing specifically on this design to make sure that we are building, let's say, a face, but at the same time, something that is new. If you see the newness in the front end, you especially see the use of LED technology on the front headlight. You see how the daytime running lights are being emphasized with the LED ring, and something you'll basically see immediately as an icon when you see it in the traffic. Furthermore, you see further down here, the design of the new grille. We've integrated all the restrictions as far as passenger safety, internal safety, everything into this design, but I believe in a very clever way that we're actually harking back to the tradition of a somewhat larger grille of the original minis. In that way, I believe we strike the balance between heritage and innovation in one, and we've managed to keep this overhang very compact, very small. As we move to the side view, you will definitely see that the car has grown somewhat in size. In the side view of the car, we have a little bit longer wheelbase, and especially when you come to the side view of the car, you'll see that the front end has a little bit more length. This length is very important to us, to integrate in a clever look, in a clever design, and I believe that this is something that makes Mini, I believe, innovative. In the side view, you should immediately recognize the silhouette, the body, the greenhouse, and the contrast roof, but we've added a couple of design details. For example, the sharp lines over the front and the rear fender, and also the light at the bottom of the door. All of this makes for, I believe, a very dynamic side view presence that then seems a little more elegant, and as far as the crispness of the surface, uh, gets more tightness and gets more uh, elegance into the line work. When we go to the rear three-quarter of the view, you will immediately recognize that as a Mini as well, in my view, because you see how the greenhouse is sitting on top of the body. We call it cascading, making sure that the greenhouse cascades down and the wheel really looks very dynamic. But the two sharp lines I mentioned over the wheel arches also helps improve this dynamic stance of the design. In the rear view, this design is equally iconic. 
two vertical taillights with LED uh, round details inside of the uh, taillights, immediately recognizable as mini, but the taillights has also grown slightly in size in order also to give that new and bold appearance, offering, I believe, also a little bit uh, as far as loading capacity, wider entrance. If we move on to the interior, also there we're working around the balance between tradition and innovation in one. And the first view when you see the interior should be that of immediately recognizable iconic mini, but with the features, central display, vents on the outside as basically uh, the architecture of the interior. You see the central display is now a basis for all our connected features, something you can also experience in a second to my right, where you can really try out how these features is. Our goal is to make the connected experience with Mini a seamless experience, that when you get in the car, you immediately have that as a center stage, part of your life, and sitting inside the car. Another improvement on the interior is we've moved all driver features onto the steering column, speedometer, fuel gauge, and rev counter right in front of the driver, including an, an, an optional head-up display right in front of the driver. If we move on to the door on the inside, I would like to just talk about the form language, the crispness, the tightness of the exterior form language you should also see in the interior, but while maintaining the mini iconic design on the interior. A couple of details here I think that are very, very wonderful. One is having the center lock on the door, on the door opening, and also the window openers in the armrest right where you intuitively want to find them. Ladies and gentlemen, this was a sh short excursion from my side into the design of this car, a car that obviously I could say has truly been a labor of love. love. Everyone who's worked on it within the design team feel very, very personally attached to this car. This is the new Mini. This is the new original. And I'd like everyone, of course, to join us on stage, taking a closer look at this car. Thank you very much.